Hey guys, this is Ghost57 coming at you live from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, so to, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a budget build with a 1050 Ti in it. And it's a sub $850 build, so stay tuned guys so I can show you what it can do. So we're going to start off with the case I chose for this build. It's a Fractal Design Core 1100 case. It's a sub $40 case. Again, when you're building a sub $800 build, the cheaper the case, sometimes the better. Again, you can even use a cardboard box if you want. But I think this is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. You have a cutout for 120 millimeter fan right here. And again, you have some air intakes right here with another 120 millimeter fan. It actually comes with the case right here. Of course, I am a Noctua fan boy. So all the fans are actually Noctua fans because they last longer. I like the way they look and they are super quiet. The customer for this build wanted a optical disk drive and a shit ton, I quote, shit ton of USB 3s in the front. So definitely we have eight right here. I had to bypass this one, but I mean eight versus one, that's okay. And then one USB 2.0 right there. Audio jack in the front for the headphone and mic. Pretty nice. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see what a sub $800 build can do. Let's go ahead and see the interior of the case. And here is where the magic happens. So you can see I am a Noctua fanboy. I got the Redux fan is right there in the back. That's a 90 millimeter. That's a high so you can go in the back. A 120 and a 65. So this is a Noctua NH-L9 65 low profile premium cooler. The processor I'm using is an i7-9700F. So that's without discrete graphics, hence why I put a graphics card in there. Again, the buyer wanted something that can do light gaming and mostly office work, Windows Office, uh, Excel, things like that. Nothing, a little, no video editing or anything like that. So definitely this is gonna get the job done. It had eight, eight cords, eight threads, and it's clocked to 4.5. Again, this is not the unlock K variant. So you're losing a little bit of performance, but overall for what he needs, it's a pretty good bang for the buck. There's your GTX 1050 Ti, super, super clocked edition from EVGA. The cool thing is this is powered by the motherboard. You don't need any type of uh, four pin or six pin connectors, anything like that. So low, low uh, powered uh, graphics card right there, which is pretty cool. And again, by the buyer's request, there is a sound card in there. Again, that's what he wanted. Um, but we'll be taking a close look at this $100 graphics card and we'll see if it can play games, especially AAA titles in 2020. And is this actually worth $850? Let's go to take a look, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with 3D Mark and see what the quality of this GTX paired with a 9th generation i7 can do. <sighs> Zero alcohol beer. Let's see how this goes, guys. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna open up MSI Afterburner so we can get some temperatures and so we can also see the frame rates on this timing spy test. Again, this is a DirectX 12 benchmark for gaming PCs. Let's go ahead and see how well this sub $800 PC does. And here we go, the GPU, the GTX 1050 Ti, is at a pretty cool 48 degrees Celsius. It's under 100% load right now at 1734 megahertz at the core. Again, with a Noctua cooler, the CPU is pretty cool also. Not reaching higher than 50, uh, 50 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, this first test right here is looking at the GTX 1050 Ti. Not really too much on the CPU. We're at about 70% on the CPU with the one uh, 4.5 gigahertz on that uh, overclock. We're using about six gigabytes of RAM right now. And we're seeing a whopping 21 frames per second. 
pretty low, guys, but this graphics card today is kind of out of date. It's getting there. It's $110 with shipping most of the time on eBay. So you can't really find anything to match it. If you're looking for a sub $850 build, this is probably the card to go to. And in the future, you can always upgrade. Definitely with the new RTX cards coming out, the 30 series, the 20 series are gonna see a dip in price. Once the 30 series gets back on the market, and they are sold out, so the 20 series is about the same price it was before the 30 series went on market. Again, no temperatures over 60 degrees Celsius for the GPU or the CPU. So the Fractal Design case is actually doing a pretty well job for moving that hot air out of the case. Very nice, guys. That was a really good performance on both the CPU, the case, and the GPU. Overall, the GTX 1050 Ti was never really a hot card. So, eh, you know, Temperature-wise, it probably wouldn't get that hot either way. Maybe if you put in a real small form factor build, probably so, but so far with this used $110 card, it's outperforming what I thought it would be performing that, but not too bad. And here we go with some more testing. Again, overall, everything's looking pretty good on this benchmark test. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move to some video games shortly after we get that CPU test coming in. Okay, so here comes a CPU test. I'm kind of interested in what we're gonna see over here. Again, I lost my MSI, of course, on the back. So I can't really see the temperature right now, so that's great. Oh, here it goes. So the temperature right here is sitting at 62 degrees Celsius. Again, with that not to a small form factor uh, cooler. I don't want to go too big because this is a small case, so I don't want to go too crazy with the size of the cooler. So let's go ahead and see the results. Again, a whopping 2,587 is not an amazing score. Um, you can see the CPU did very well. Uh, we got 6,873 on the CPU, which is, again, a ninth generation i7 with eight cores, eight threads, clocked at 4.5 gigahertz. So that's respectable, but the graphic score is uh it's it's not that respectable especially now with the graphics cards definitely not performing this but this was a budget a gpu back in the days and it sh definitely shows with time but if you want to play some games we can definitely do that and take a look at that benchmarks are good and all but overall you got to put it to the real world test we're going to compare it to see where we line up over here so as you see office laptop 2020 we beat that mother sucker pretty good so I'm pretty happy you can say we're better than an office laptop <laughs> but what about an office desktop or would that land who knows that's kind of a weird a category right there so we're landing right between office laptop and a uh, gaming laptop 2020 so let's see what they put in here so i7 9750h with the RTX 2060 in there. Okay, okay. You can see that 2060, even the notebook processor, definitely outperforms the graphics card, uh, the GTX 1050 Ti, and the gaming PC. Okay. Yeah, so, so again, what, what you're looking at is really that graphics card is the bottleneck for this uh, PC build. So we did better than 10% 10 per, 10 of all results. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and put it to the real world test, guys. If we can do better than 10% computers, hopefully we can run some, at least, uh, some Modern Warfare or some uh, Overwatch or something. Let's see if this can even play some games. Okay, guys, Halloween special over here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with some training. I don't wanna wait in a lobby forever. So we're gonna just do uh, against AI, let's go hardcore. Um, so right now we're sitting at 45 degrees Celsius on the GPU, just waiting for the game to start. It is at 60% on this uh, GPU already. Uh, the CPU, again, 60 degrees Celsius at 8, 9%. Again, it's an interesting match. Um, I think if you did really want to do a sub $800 gaming PC, you'd probably go with a different type, maybe an older i7 or a Ryzen 5. Uh, a Ryzen 7 
maybe second gen uh, CPU, you'll save a lot of money. The majority of this build was actually the price of the CPU. But again, the person that wanted this was gonna do a lot of, lot of office work, um, office, you know, windows base type of applications like Excel, heavy Excel work. Um, this person is a doctor, so definitely you're looking at a lot of uh, work based products, uh, not really GPU intensive products, more on the CPU itself. Um, so, but you never know, he might want to play some games or his college kid might want to jump on his PC and play Overwatch. That's always my go-to. So as you see right there, we're still doing about 115 frames a second. Uh, let's go ahead and look at my graphical settings. Um, video settings, again, 1920 by 1080p. This is a 144 hertz monitor. Um, we're at high. And that's probably what you'd be playing at, at this subcategory. Uh, the monitor was an Asus uh, ROG Turf Gaming Monitor. Uh, I got it back in the days, I think Black Friday for like 200 bucks. It was like 199 so it matches the system. Um, I mean, I don't know who would buy a $500 monitor to go with this $800, $850 build, so you never know. If you wonder why I'm doing so good, it's because I'm playing against bots. So what we're looking at here is really temperature, and we're looking at frame rate drops. Everything's looking really good. And yes, guys, I'm using my camera to record. I do not have a capture card. Um, if you want to link a good capture card for me in the link below, I'm looking for maybe like a USB capture card since I do uh, a lot of computer builds. I don't want to be putting in a PCIe capture card. I know that sounds weird. Unless you can tell me how to do it. Um, it's I would like to get into that. Just uh, leave some comments down below, guys, so you can help me out. So as you can tell, um, it's killing this game. When there's less players, uh, it goes all the way up to 144 hertz. Um, but when there's a couple players on the screen, we go down to about 100 frames per second, which really isn't that bad um, for 850 bucks. Better than an Xbox. Maybe not the Xbox Series X, I don't know. Who would have to review that too? So let's go ahead and pop in Modern Warfare and see how that does with the 1050 Ti at medium to high settings. Okay guys, so I'm running around on uh, Modern Warfare. Again, um, I haven't really played this game too much. Uh, as you can see, I'm still on a tutorial. But right now, it looks like for the 1050 Ti, you can only go for low settings, especially if you want to do any multiplayer games. Uh, the reason for that is it does not have enough VRAM. I'll go ahead and pull up that so you can see that over here. So for Warzone, uh, it's actually a little higher than max. I do have it on normal right now, um, because we're, we're, I think we're playing multiplayer or something like that. But uh, this FYI, guys, um, this would be a low graphic setting card for this game. But uh, just moving around the map, you're averaging about 115 frames a second, 130 frames a second when there's no uh, characters involved. So um, I don't know what they want me to do here. So let me go ahead and see if I can pause this and get through some things so I can actually see some real gameplay with people involved. Okay, so here we go with the actual game. Um, now we're looking at the real true uh, frame rates for a real game. So we're at about 75 frames a second right here on uh, normal settings. I just dropped from a plane, I guess. This is a battle royale type of setting. Uh, again, I'm probably gonna die real fast, but I'm just trying to test out the frame rates for y'all guys for the GTX 1050 Ti. I got somebody, haha. <laughs> again. <laughs> I see a little thing right here. Uh, so far, not too bad, I'm dead. But uh, it looks like you can play a pretty good game with this GTX 1050 Ti. We're looking at anywhere from, at a low end, 70 frames per second, and at a high end, 115 frames a second. So definitely playable, guys, uh, with Modern Warfare. So we're gonna go ahead and pop in the all-time favorite, Fortnite, and we'll see how it performs. I think pretty well. Let's go ahead and take a look, guys. Okay, so before we jump into any Fortnite fortery, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the settings. So again, we're at tw uh, 1920 by 1080 at uh, 16.9, and 
And I put it on unlimited so I can see how much this GTX 1050 can give out. Um, I let the game pick the quality for me. And this game is very easy to run. I mean, you can play it on a Switch, you can play it on a cell phone. Um, so it automatically picked Epic and High for most of the graphical settings. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right in. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Um, again, I haven't played this game in a long time. So I'm gonna figure out how to jump into this game. Um, huh, I guess I'll hit play. And this is pretty cool. So we see some, uh, I forgot the name of the game, but I used to play this a lot. I actually went to the, sem uh, the seminar over there in E3 for this. They're a little booth. Uh, Borderlands, there we go. So I guess I'm the Borderlands guy. Um, if you want to play with me, you saw my gamer tag. I, I think it's ready. Um, squads are full. So we'll go ahead and let this pass. I'll go ahead and pick up the gameplay when I'm killing some people. Uh, interesting skin. Oh, here we go, pretty fast. So the main thing I want to see is the frame rate when you're jumping out of the plane, or the bus, because I know that uh, takes a lot of graphical intensity right there. And as you see, we're at 640 frames a second. We're looking into the future over here. <laughs> okay, so we're back to reality. I'm uh, definitely getting some lag, really bad lag. Um, I probably need to take that down to like maybe a normal setting. We're at 45 frames a second. Again, uh, first person action type of game. You want as much frames as possible. So let's go ahead and look at that again. I'm gonna go to settings, graphical settings, and we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna put this down to 165. Take this down to, let's go ahead and put it at medium, everything medium. Again, this is a medium graphics card uh, entry level, so. Don't want to get too crazy. That's interesting. Um, Direct X 12. Oh, that's why. Okay, it's a beta. Okay. So we'll just keep that on there. And we'll go ahead and hit apply. And we'll go ahead and see the difference. So already, just putting it on medium, because this is a medium card, guys. Uh, again, this is not a, a RTX 3080 or a 3090. <laughs> So we're getting uh, a lot better frame rates again. We're jumping out of the plane, or the bus, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is always the most intense part for the graphics card because it has to render the whole background and your environment and other players. And you know, it's rendering a lot of things. So we're at 80 uh, frames per second, which is a lot better than Xbox. So still looking pretty good. Um, definitely the quality's okay. Again, it's not an RTX or even a 1080 Ti. It's a, it's a $110 graphics card. So um, if your kid wants to jump on your work computer and play some GTX 1080, I mean, play some Fortnite and some Overwatch and some Modern Warfare, you'll be fine. Just with that Modern Warfare, make sure to have a huge storage device because it's 100 and 240 gigs. It's outrageous. That's, I don't know, it's crazy. Um, so here I go, guys. Uh, I'm going to see if I can kill somebody. But so far, this GTX 1050 Ti, it's okay. For uh, $110, you can pair it probably with a Ryzen uh, 5 2400 um, uh, CPU. Or, uh, sorry, uh, just a Ryzen 5 CPU, maybe second gen, third gen, uh, or first gen, really. And you'll get a really good bang for your buck uh, as a pair for this, um, this setup right here. So overall, pretty good stuff, guys. So if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you dislike, hit that thumbs down button. But this was Ghost57 coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. And let me know what you think about this build. Again, this was a custom made computer for a doctor. The guy's a doctor. He's gonna be doing a lot of, a lot of uh, tedious work that needs a powerful CPU and not too much graphical intense work. So maybe he'll be looking at some MRIs or CAT scans or you know things like that that might involve a little bit of graphical intensity but he's not going to be playing video games very often maybe his kid will but probably unlikely so anyways guys uh let me know what you think in the comments below i'm going to link everything from this pc build down below as well so if you want to buy it i'll leave the link in the description below from amazon i'll see you in the next video guys ghost bit miner out